What's going on guys? This is Moonchild of Do No Way, and today I got a PvE build for Titans that puts out massive damage. Top Tree Sunbreaker has some of the best abilities in Destiny 2, so in this video I'm gonna break down some weapons, mods, and exotics you can pair together to blast a hole in anything in your way. To become the god of firepower, the first thing you want to grab is the Galahorn. This exotic is back from Destiny 1 and it's better than ever. When you fire off a rocket, a bunch of wolf pack rounds spawn with it and look for things to blow up. The tracking on these is nuts, and whether you're using it on a boss or just nuking a group of ads, old galley hits harder than a stiff drink after a long day's work. It's legitimately one of the best weapons in the game. On its own, the thing's a monster for burst damage. When you grab the catalyst, you get two rockets in the tube, and when your wolf pack rounds get a kill, they're gonna spawn another wolf pack round. This is an insane amount of damage, and to take that even further, we're slotting the mods Elemental Armaments and Font of Might. Elemental Armaments makes kills with weapons that match your subclass have a stacking chance to spawn an elemental well. When you shoot Galley into a group of dudes, a single rocket is pretty much guaranteed to drop one, and picking that up gives you 15% of all of your abilities back. With Font of Might equipped, you got an easy way to boost your weapon damage. Just run over an elemental well, and the solar weapon boost text pops up. For the next 10 seconds, Gallarhorn and all your other solar guns are hitting 25% harder. And speaking of which, let's go over what you should run in your kinetic and energy slot. For your kinetic weapon, grab a legendary auto rifle because right now they're the only choice for stun and barrier champions. You want to look for a roll with osmosis, which gives you the option to change the weapon's damage type to solar. With this perk, you can make your primary spawn elemental wells and as long as it's solar it'll get buffed by font of might too. In your energy slot, the Cartesian coordinate is going to be your go-to pick. This season particle deconstruction is skull f***ing everything in the game, and after a single shot they're taking 40% more damage from your fusion rifle. This is the most disgustingly powerful debuff Destiny's ever seen, so you want to slot it on your class item and voop everything that looks at you sideways. As you're slaying out, those solar wells are going to be popping up left and right. Particle Deconstruction stacks with the buff from Font of Might, and if your Cartesian coordinate has Vorpal Weapon, then that stacks with the other two. All of that together is a 75% buff to the damage your fusion rifle puts out. And look dude, I know this is a lot to take in, so in a little bit I'm gonna throw a graphic on screen with everything I'm talking about laid out in an easy to read format. Screenshot it with your phone so you can kick back and enjoy the video. Now that we got weapons out of the way, we're gonna push your damage even higher. To do that, we're slotting the mods Wrath of Rasputin and Global Reach. Wrath of Rasputin makes kills with solar explosions have a chance to spawn a Warmind Cell. Those can proc from any one of your abilities, from Gallahorn itself or from kills with any one of the Wolf Pack rounds. With Global Reach equipped, the Warmind Cell explosion travels even further. You want to put this mod on your class item and swap it out with Thermoclastic Strike from the artifact when you need to stun Overload champions. Put on Rage of the Warmind to make your cells hit even harder and have the damage type change to solar. These three mods together are the holy trinity of f***ing things up. They give an insane amount of ad clear that synergizes perfectly with the whole setup. The explosions chain back to back, and a lot of times blowing up one Warmind cell is gonna spawn another. This clip is a perfect example of this build in action, and I'm gonna let it roll in the background while I talk about everything we just put together. By now, you can basically kill anything you please. Your single target damage is pretty much unmatched, and with Galley getting two rockets every reload, you've got some of the most ridiculous burst potential in the game. You turn packs of red bar enemies to dust with barely any effort, dropping wells and spawning war mine cells all over the battlefield. No champion can stand against you, no boss can handle you, and with as good as this is, there just happens to be an exotic that buffs the shit out of the whole build. To perfect the loadout and become the god of firepower, you want to put on the Path of Burning Steps. This exotic comes from Legend or Master Lost Sectors on the days when leg armor's dropping, and it gives any solar kill the chance to give you the Firewalker buff. While that's up, it increases the damage of all your guns whether they're solar or not. You can activate this with pretty much everything in your kit, and at a 4 times stack, your weapons are hitting 35% harder. That's free bonus damage for doing what you already would be, and what makes it insane is that it plays nice with all the other buffs and debuffs you've got going on. With everything working together, your fusion rifle deals 110% more damage and when you pull out galley, bosses are gonna melt like the ice you kick under the fridge. This is one of the highest damage builds in Destiny 2, but what if you don't have the path of burning steps yet? For you guys, I'm gonna quickly go over a loadout you can use to crush through lost sectors and farm exotics fast. To check that out, all you gotta do is click the card on the right. Thanks for watching. I am Moonchild of Dude No Way, and I will see you in the next video.